Hello everyone, welcome to the WP Team Pro plugin demo presentation. Let me give you a quick overview of the plugin and then I will show you how you can create a team in real quick. Afterwards, in the following videos, I will show you how you can use several features to make the tool even better. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called WP Team Pro. When you click on it, it will take you to the all member page. Now click add new to create a member and fill out the page with necessary informations. Finally, click on publish to add the member and repeat the process to add as many member as you want. Now go to the all member page again and you can order the member by doing drag and drop like this. Next you can see the team generator menu. Here you will find all the teams you have created using WP Team Pro listed in one place. For each team you will find a title, a short code, a layout and the date it was published. When you hover across a team, you will find a few other options like edit, quick edit, thresh and duplicate. If you want to make a copy of a team, then simply click on the duplicate button. Now let's move on to the all important add new team. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will get all the features required to create your team. As you can see there are a lot of options here. Let me give you a quick overview of all the options one by one. After typing the title, select a layout from 8 different layout presets and then set how you want to filter the members. Available options are Groups, Specific and Exclude. Below that, there are several tabs. The General Settings tab includes the general features that will apply to the team showcase. You can set the number of columns for responsive devices order the member by doing drag and drop name, id, date, random or modified. Enable or disable the Ajax Live filter or Ajax member search. Turn on and off the preloader. Now let's move on to the display options. Here you can set the member content positions from 5 different options like below content, above content, right content, left content and overlay content. Check the box to make all the members same height as the tallest one, though the image and contents are different from one another. Set border, border radius, background color, padding to the member. If you select member content position as overlay, some new field will be added to configure the overlay content. For example, you can set overlay background color overlay content type from fully covered and caption style and overlay content visibility. Then you can set to show or hide the meta icons. Next you can show or hide the meta fields that you want to display in the team showcase and that you don't want to display in the team showcase. You can order them by doing drag and drop. Set the short bio limit. By default the value is set to 100. If you want you can change it. Finally configure the skill bar settings and social settings. You can set the margin, social icon shape, alignment and custom colors for the social icons. Next one is image settings. Here you will find all the image related properties. If you don't want to show the member photo then hide it. Otherwise show it. You can set custom image size for the member photo. 
Choose an image shape for the member from square, rounded and circle. Set the border, box shadow, background, padding, inner padding to the member image. Enable or disable the image flip. The flipping image is the first image of the member photo gallery. Set a zoom effect for the image and also you can set image mode from here. The next one is carousel controls. The carousel control settings will allow you to set a carousel mode from standard and ticker. Set autoplay, autoplay speed, carousel speed and row settings for the responsive devices. You can show or hide the navigations and presentations from here. Configure the positions, color and border of those properties. There are few other options to enable or disable the touch sweep, mouse draggable and mouse wheel control. Now let's move on to the member detail settings. You can enable or disable the member detail page. Choose a member detail page link type from model and single page. Both of the options has their own correspondent settings. When you select model as your detail page link type, you will have the options to choose a model type from single member or multiple member with navigations, a model layout from four different options and a model background and which field you want to show in the model and which you don't want to show in the model just check these boxes same for the single page when you select the single page as detail page link type for the member you will see a field to set the link target to new tab or current tab there are few other settings available in the plugin settings page when you click on this link it will take you to the plugin settings menu next one is typography settings here you can configure the typography properties for general and model separately select the font properties like font family font style text alignment and font color for member name member positions member description and member additional informations you can do the same for model layout as well before publishing the short code, you can have a look at the layout you have configured. Click on the show preview button to see the team showcase. After then, if you change anything, then click on the update preview button to see the changes. Finally, publish the short code and copy it from the bottom of the page. Now go to a page and insert the short code in a text or code block to display the team showcase you have generated now if you want to change the layout preset to grid in this short code go to the configuration tabs again and select the layout preset as grid and update the shortcode and refresh the page to see the changes now let's go to the settings menu here you can see the license activation page appears to the first so this is the license activation field where you need to activate the license key. Below that in the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable all the JS and CSS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Next one is custom CSS and JS. If you want to change anything like the layout design, then write the custom CSS and JS here. Next is link settings. Check those boxes to link the member email and phone number. You can rename the WP Team Pro plugin menus from here and those are the responsive breakpoints. And here are the single page settings that I have explained before on the detail page link type settings. There are two layout presets for the single member page. You can also set the typography for the single member page from here. Enable or disable the plugin accessibility from here. Let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the members and the shortcodes of the plugin. Let's have a look at the demo page of the plugin where you will see a few customized layout samples that can be created with the plugin. 
Using the plugin features, you can do a lot more than what we have shown in the demo. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those extra features in the plugin to make your team even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care. Thank you.